Hi, my name is Angela, and I'm from Oregon. When I was um, two years old, almost three, um, my mom had a live-in boyfriend that tortured me and um, sodomized me. And when I, um, so I think witchcraft and demons entered into my life. Death spirits. How do you operate in her life? Torments. In which ways are you tormenting her life? How do you torment her family? Doubt. Doubt. What else? Break her marriage. You broke her marriage. So I was in church all my life and just, you know, really love the Lord. I never knew that demonic oppression could happen to Christians. What else have you done in her life? Pain. Pain. You brought her pain? Pain. Disease. Disease. And what else? Disease. How did you give her disease? What kind of disease Poverty. did you give it to? In Poverty? Curses. 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 Generational curses. I have always struggled in my life. I've had a really rocky marriage um, and it's like everything was fighting against me. You demon of death, your time has expired. Her body, you'll go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost, fight! Out! 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I am so thankful. I just, I feel lighter. I feel washed. I feel free. I feel um, like I can mo move in power in the Lord. And there was an immediate change, an immediate difference. I knew it. The demon of death that's been tormenting your body by the blood of Jesus Christ, the fire of the Holy Ghost has been exposed out of your life, out of your family life. You're free Praise in Jesus' you. mighty name. name. Say thank you, Jesus. Praise I'm free. Jesus. I just want you to quickly share a couple of the sicknesses that you had prior to your deliverance and what is happening right now. Uh, let's start with your sleep apnea. Yeah, I had sleep apnea for the last eight years. I had to use a machine on the highest setting. And um, af after the deliverance, I tried to use it and it just bothered me. And so I took it off and I haven't used it since. Okay, come on. Let's give God some praise. This is huge. I want to emphasize something. She told me that if she was not able to use her CPAP machine, that the chances of her falling asleep behind the wheel was completely 100%. That's bringing yep. danger to her life. She had to completely rely on it. And I just love, and I'm sure you love with me, the fact that she said she was bothered to use that machine. She felt uncomfortable using that machine after she received her freedom. Something that was comfortable, mm -hmm. that she had to rely on, now became an uncomfort. Isn't that huge? So you yeah. haven't had to use that CPAP machine since you received your freedom. Is that correct? Right. Yes. Isn't that incredible? For eight years, by God's touch, done. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Now tell us a little bit more. Let's dive in a little bit deeper about the sicknesses that you had and no longer have. Uh, you also mentioned that you had allergies for 10 years that mm -hmm. you were, it was quite sufferable. Um, I mean, talked about drainage in the nose, all of that, the pills, all of that. Tell us a little bit. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling wonderful. It was actually 20 years I apologize, and 20 every years. single day. It wasn't seasonal allergies. It was every single day. And I have no congestion. I have no drainage. Um, it's amazing. I can breathe deep. I had, I was also diagnosed with asthma. I don't, I threw my inhalers away. I, I can breathe deep. It's amazing. It was an immediate difference. Come on. God is so good. And it's just a reminder. I mean, for those that have experienced seasonal allergies, it is sufferable, right? Where you can't breathe or you have headaches or pressure. Talk about that every day for 20 years. That's something that yeah. does affect your every day and something that now you're capable of breathing without having that suffering. And about your asthma, that your inhaler, you would use it when you needed to. But the deep breathing part, you weren't able to breathe deep before and now you can? Correct. The Lord is our healer. Just turn to him. He will give you 
freedom. Thank you for watching our Race to Deliver conference testimony video. I hope it blessed you and it spoke to you. If you want to hear more about our upcoming events and conferences, the dates and times and more information, just go to hungrygen.com slash conference. Also, if you are interested and you are local or you are out of state and you want to hear more about our monthly prayer lines that happen every single month, the last weekend, the last Sunday of every month, please go to hungrygen.com slash deliverance and you can sign up there. Have a blessed day.